I think. Have you ever been to I've, Download Festival? I've, I've never been to Download. I had tickets to go to Download once and um, I got a job and I had to sell my ticket. It was, it was really depressing. And I, I've just bought tour tickets for May for the O2 Arena. Um, yeah, they went for like 77 quid to 250 quid in the space of 10 minutes Friday morning. Yes. Um, so I was lucky to get one, so that's going to be my next gig. Awesome. And, uh, except for one, I think we're, like, we're going to be doing some gigs coming to Christmas or just after. Yes. Pardon? My favourite kind of cosplay. Um, oh, wow. Do you know what? I just do a lot of conventions in the US and it, it's, it's getting much more uh, prevalent over here, cosplay. Um, but when I started doing conventions, the British audience was, was a lot more reserved, there was far less cosplay. Then you go to like Dragon Con in America or Comic Con, everyone's an amazing cosplay. You know, um, the guys playing the 300 guys, they would literally go to the gym all year. <laughs> Just so they could buff up to be the guys from 300 in <laughs> Dragon Con. And you know, the Princess Leia's, the Princess Leia costumes, and the girls would be so, you know, um, physically fit just for that one day a year. And yeah, the Klingons and the Predators, amazing. I like horror, I'm a big horror fan, so like horror cosplay um, impresses me. Mainly because a lot of the the amount of effort going into make, making a lot of a really good horror cosplay is quite difficult. Yes. Have I watched? No, I haven't. Squid, 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 squid game. I do you know. What? I think. I think well, you'll have to ask them. Um, I think my my little boy and little girl started watching that. I think. Would they watch that as an adult? Oh no! It is. It is. It's, it's like battle royale meet, meets. Um, um, yes, yes. No, it's, it's on my list. It's on my watch list, definitely. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah? Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen any of the, uh, this, um, the Battle Royale or anything like that? Um, they were uh, Japanese, I think, Battle Royale is. Yeah. Japanese films, and it was, it was that, I think it's based, loosely based on that style of filmmaking, as well as The Hunger Games. Playing the original, the if you get to see Battle Royale, Battle Royale 1 and 2, they are really amazing. And basically, it's, it's a, the schools though, aren't they? Yeah. It's, yeah, the schools of Battle Royale where they get... Um, I think if you're naughty, yeah, you, you basically take it, take it to a place, you get put on an island and you, and you just fight to the death. In your school uniform. <laughs> yeah, it's going be a good fight. But yes, it's on my list. And who's your favourite doctor out of all the doctors? I grew up with um, Sylvester McCoy, um, so he's sort of the one that's close to my heart. Yeah. Um, and I met, you know, I know Sylvester quite well as well, so he's, he's such a lovely bloke. But um, he has secured himself mm. in my heart as my, my favourite doctor. Who would you most like to meet out of the Star Trek cast? Oh, um. Brett Spiner, I think, um, Data. Um, I've already met Mar Marina Sirtis, she's lovely. Um, Patrick Stewart, I've seen in passing, but I haven't actually had the, the confidence to say anything to him. You've heard my Riker story. Um, yeah, Brett, Brett Spiner, is, he was my favorite, that was my favorite character. Have you met any of the Red Dwarf crew? I met all the Red Dwarf crew. Oh. Yeah. Have you been on the piss with them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're great. <laughs> Danny John Jules has ridden around the Holiday Inn reception on my unicycle. <laughs> yeah, he can ride a unicycle. Man of many talents. <laughs> oh, Strange that's, hobbies. Uh, that's a good story. No, no yeah, they're, they're good guys. Lovely guys. They're, all, they're so, so different in personality, yeah. but they just, they, they just work together. They blew it really well. Adam? Um, I always have a curry. I had a really good curry last night. Um, <laughs> In hen and chickens, it's like a gastropub that is curry. But um, so, so spoiled the choice. I went online to have a look at um, good curry houses in Birmingham, and obviously they're just uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're all good. <laughs> and, and it's, it's, it's so difficult to choose. Um, so we just joke about the closest one in the end. Best tip for an inspiring actor, I'd say thick skin and um, 
yeah, being able to learning to take rejection is probably the, the, the most difficult thing to deal with as an actor. If you can do that, then you can do anything because you will just get no after no after no after no, and it's been able to take those no's and get up and uh, attack the next audition or next project with the same amount of enthusiasm that you did before. That's the real, ah, oh, that's, uh, that's the hard part, I'd say. So yeah, thick skin and learning to take rejection and attacking every day um, with the same positivity as the last. Yeah. yeah. What do I think of Chris Chibnall's writing? John, I, I love Chris uh, Chibnall's writing. I'd say he was the closest to Russell in the sort of in, in way, way of tone that has, that has been. Um, I mean, I, I found the last couple of, um, a few of the episodes a bit preachy, but, yeah, but, but I don't think that's Chris, I think that's the BBC. Um, yeah. Yeah, more than likely, actually. Uh, I, 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 I think I think I think they had to. Um, I think it was it was, a, it was a shift in tone and sort of yeah, there, were, there were content stipulations that they had to. Political correctness would yeah, be so you know, but Chris, Chris has done some of the best um, torture episodes that I was in. I, I mean, he did Countryside. He did Cyber Girl. He did. Um, oh, what was the other one? Um, yeah, he did, did, did a finale. I, 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 I like Chris's writing. He's, he's a lovely bloke. But um, I'm still really stoked that Russell is coming back. Who do you think the most scariest Doctor Who baddie is or torture of baddie is? That's tough. My favourite is the Weevil because he's so... Uh, my my favourite torture is, is, is the Weevil because he's just... He, he is what the Dalek says to Doctor Who, he's, 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 he's the stock villain and quite terrifying. Um, but I think Billis, Billis was quite a scary one. And the, uh, the magician in um, From Out of the Rain, Julian Bleach played him, who went on to play Davros then. In, um, he played that sort of to um, top hat and the pencil thin moustache and the, yeah, he, he's quite terrifying. Cybermen for me. Cybermen? I hate them. I don't know. I, I went out with one, so... <laughs> so, you know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much. Thank you to all of you just eating your lunch for staying. <laughs> um,